Hey guys, well I recently got the uh, JPC 12 antenna system and took it out for the first time on the beach in the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And man, it tuned well. Everything worked well on it except for uh, transmitting and making contacts. And uh, I want to I wanted to give it a second try. I really want to find out what I was doing wrong, if I was doing something wrong, it, what's wrong with the uh, antenna itself. Um, one thing I did a little different than the, uh, you know, the instructions was I only use, I used the uh, ribbon we'll call here the ribbon uh, counterpoise system. I just used it uh, all together as one instead of splitting it. Now the reason I did that is because basically for me on the um, on the ocean, man, when I'm that close to the ocean, I get away with hardly any, I mean, just small counterpoise, one single pointed at the Atlantic Ocean and that close of proximity on that wet, soft sand. I used to have an amazing ground plane underneath me, but um. That's, I think that's a mistake I may have made. So I'm gonna split this up into at least four, maybe more uh, counterpoise. Put it down on a starve or, or a, you know, a, a four mark or whatever we wanna call it. And lay down as instructed to, lay down a good ground plane and see if that was really my problem. Now that day was also, it was a lot going on as far as uh, band conditions too. We had, you know, a lot of uh, solar activity was happening as well. So who knows, a lot of factors there. And I don't like to uh, put down anything and make and say it was bad until I'm absolutely sure. Or if I made a mistake, I wanna find out what mistake I made and, uh, and see what's, you know, see what it was. Anyway, let's put this JPC 12 antenna up the way it was intended to. I am right by salt water, but I'm gonna put it down here on on natural earth over grass on a nice piece of dirt right next to the salt water so there's a lot of advantages here where i should be able to make some context let me get it together and we'll see how it works stick around okay guys that's uh norfolk i'm here in portsmouth virginia in the harbor Going with the same radio as last time, the uh, Zygu G90, so 20 watts, uh, my LiPo 4 battery. And um, here's the antenna set up, same configuration. I got it for 20 meters right now, but everything's identical to the beach setup, except I'm here on the ground now, and I've got the, uh, I've got the counterpoise split into five different wires now, all spread apart. It's spread here on this, Nice piece of dirt here. The other thing I'm doing different is I am using the uh, choke at this end. I think one of the reasons why, if I was having grounding issues, one of the reasons why I was having such good SWR is because I had the choke at the radio end before. So that 50 feet of coax was basically the counterpoise, which could have gave me somewhat false reading there for SWR. I don't know, but um, Go see if this does any better. I'll check SWR and we'll see if we can get on the air. Okay, just like before, the SWR is amazing. The sun is so bright, it's not going to do any good for me to uh, put the camera here on the screen of the G90. I can barely see it myself, so I'm wearing the sunglasses. Pretty bright afternoon here, but uh, yeah, perfect SWR. Let me see if I can make some contacts. All right, I'm going to spare you the pain and suffering that I'm going to have to go through here. Um, same result, I can't get through I'm trying to answer calls, even some pretty decent, strong protocols. So I think it's the ground. I'm gonna switch this thing up and do something different with the ground system. Give me a shot here and I'll be right back. Okay, here's my secret weapon. That's a pool noodle with a piece of wire on it. I got about 17 feet of wire coming over. Brought the antenna a little closer here. And uh, instead of that connection point, I'm actually connecting it to the outside of the coax. I'm wondering if there's an issue right there with the coating of the hub and the stake itself. I don't know, but uh, single ground poise now into the uh, salt water. This usually works extremely well for me. If this doesn't do it, I don't know where to go next, but we're gonna see if, how this does. Kilo four Oscar Golf Oscar. Uh, QSL, you are 5757 into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. All right, QSL 59, this is part number 06864. QSL? 
QSL, thank you for the 5.9 there. I just, uh, first QSO I've actually made on this antenna. I've been having a lot of trouble with it, so it's good to know that I'm getting out there for sure. 20 watts portable here in the harbor. I've got the JPC-12 antenna. I took it out this weekend and it was absolutely horrible. Of course, conditions were bad too, but uh, I was having some issues. I, I got it up today. Uh, the ground plane under it was horrible. So I just threw a water, uh, 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 one wire into the salt water and it looks like I'm getting out now. All right, whatever works. Yeah, I got a uh, outbacker on a tripod with a uh, wolf radio coil. Yes, yes, now I know what it was. Oscar Golf Oscar? Yes, Kilowatt 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. The name is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I'm 20 watts portable in the Norfolk, Virginia Harbor. Yeah, roger, roger, Walt. Nice to meet you for the very first time. You're sounding good. Uh, this is Morgan, Mike Oscar Romeo, Golf Alpha November in Rolla, Missouri. Mike Oscar, and uh, where's your QTH one more time? Uh, the QTH here is Virginia, right in the uh, southeastern corner uh, near the Chesapeake Bay in the Atlantic Ocean. You got a wonderful signal, 5.9 all the way here, plus 10. Thank you so much for the 5.9 plus 10. I really do appreciate it. You're about a 5.757 here in Rolla, Missouri. Put down a great, really clear audio. Over. Okay, 20 meters is just packed with POTA. It's wonderful, nothing against POTA, but I want to, um, I really want to work some DX and it doesn't seem like the band right now. It's um, it's late afternoon, it won't be long before the sun goes down. 10 meters, is, looks like it's popping right now, so I'm going to take down the, uh, everything down to just the uh, the telescopic whip here as, it's, uh, as I did on the beach and see if I can make some 10 meter contacts. Okay, here we go. Here's what I did. Now I just have the telescopic whip. And that is it. So this should be a quarter wavelength for the 10 meter band. Let's uh, let's go see what we can do. CQ 10 meters, CQ 10 meters, Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar calling CQ, CQ, K4 OGO calling CQ, CQ, anyone, anyone. Alpha Echo Zero Tango Lima. QSL, you got me. I've got you a good 5.9 here in Mike, November, Minnesota. Over. Hey, thanks for the 5.9 in Minnesota. You're 5.9 as well here into Norfolk, Virginia. I'm portable in the harbor. 20 watts with a uh, just a little quarter wave uh, telescopic aerial here in the air. Well, that's, that's quite amazing. Uh, 20 watts and a little portable radial. That's, uh, you're coming in loud and clear here. Over. Oh, thanks so much. Yeah, I was just... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I hardly ever call CQ with this low of a power, but I was uh, listening to all the other rag tubes. I said, I, I want to see if I can make a contact. So I really do appreciate you uh, taking the call. Good. Yeah, I appreciate you being out there in the harbor in Virginia. Over. Hey, thanks. It's uh, it's fun. I live right across the street, so I like to get out here and have a little fun and work portable. I kind of, uh, kind of slid out of work a little early today. I had an appointment, got out of there, and I figured I'd come down here before it got dark and play a little radio. Good for you. Good for you. I hope you make some more Hey, thank you so much. 7-3. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, QRZ. Yeah, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar. You got uh, Kilo Bravo 0, Delta X-ray Delta. You're doing nine S units into St. Paul, Minnesota here. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, QRZ. Whiskey 6, India Kilo Echo. Whiskey 6, India Kilo Echo. Whiskey, whiskey six, India Kilo Echo. Hey, thanks for the five five in Southern California. You're about a five two five three here into in all the way to the other side of the country there, right on the Atlantic coast here in Virginia. Whiskey zero, Oscar X Ray Bravo. Whiskey zero, Oscar X Ray Bravo. A uh, strong signal, five nine plus ten. Roger, I've got you, 5757 into Minnesota. This is Dave, over. Hi, Dave, the name here is Walt. Looks like I've got a pipeline into Minnesota there for sure. I guess the conditions are just right for uh, for Minnesota there because you guys are, there's three calls now I've made into Minnesota and everybody sounded excellent. 
Well, it must be the cold weather because it's, uh, well, it could be a lot colder, and it will. <laughs> hey, thanks for being there. Appreciate the contact. All the best. 73. Thank you so much. 73. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, QRZ. Whiskey 4, Mike, Bravo, Mike. Whiskey 4, Mike, Bravo, Mike. Roger, Roger. Uh, Walt, I got you at a 5656 five, six into Norfolk, QSL. You must be across the river from me then. You're about the same here. I'm over, uh, I'm actually on the Portsmouth side. I, I am literally looking at the downtown Norfolk waterfront right now. QSL, QSL, and I love your YouTube channel and your, your Facebook friends. Uh, what do you got for a single report for me, Walt? Uh, the name is Jay, Juliet Alpha Yankee. Hi, Jay. You're, you're sounding really good. Uh, the, the estimator looks about 5'7", but it sounds like it sounds like you're literally in the next town over. <laughs> Roger, Roger, Walt. Thanks for being there. 7-3, and have a terrific afternoon from Whiskey 4, Mike Bravo, Mike. Well, that restored my faith in that antenna, and I'm glad I did that and didn't give up on it because, um, yeah, I, that I, that is one thing that I know. When I come out here portable here right across the street here in the harbor, um, that pool noodle, when I have a, uh, basically what I do is take a pool noodle, three zip ties, and just put a piece of wire on it and zip it to the noodle. So the one single counterpoise just floats above the water there and um, alligator clip on the other end and just connect it. Usually I, with the ground rod, I connect it to the rod. I had a suspicion there's something going on here. I don't know if it's internally to this. I don't know if it is the connection here as you see the finish on this maybe the the plating on this and the finish maybe there's a bad connection here i mean with this thing here i mean the that goes in it it's really i don't know i don't know if what the issue is here i don't know if it's connection here i don't know if it's possibly some i've got just got a bad one and there's some soldering here because i hear people have success with this thing i i didn't and it was a it, it stressed me out but you want to know what connecting the uh counterpoise wire with alligator clip on on the outside of the coax absolutely did it and boy did it ever i like it i want to play with the antenna some more now for sure but yeah i'm really pleased with the way it worked out and uh i'm glad i got back out here right away and, and tried this different location but uh i think it solved the problem the problem is here it is right here it's either here on the connection with the finish or it's there inside internally. There's something going on here that's making this this ground plane not 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 work for me. And that is, I'm convinced that's what's doing it now. But that was a lot of fun. I tell you what, of all the contacts, I think the one that impressed me most with this antenna was the one right across the river over there. It's just a you know 10 meter ground wave. And he said he was in Norfolk. He's, Norfolk's a big city. He could have been. A lot of miles from me there i'll check that out and uh and see just how far away he was um but yeah that was uh, pretty cool i haven't made it i think i've talked to wodu during a contest that's old dominion university go monarchs that's where i went but um <laughs> it's right across the river in norfolk too uh their club station i've talked to them one time and it was really that was like uh, 20 meters in a contest and uh, on a ground wave and that was a struggle i mean it was like four three both ways so that was kind of cool i know 10 meters is uh is like that and you can do a lot better with local contacts but a lot of fun i enjoyed it and like i said before i went into this rambling tirade i'm in right now i really enjoyed uh, i'm really glad that i got back out here and experimented with this antenna hey if you enjoy um watching me do silly things like uh, cut wires, make antennas, throw counterpoise wires into the sea, and uh, and have some fun uh, experimenting. Uh, please like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO73, my friends. Hope to see you soon.